Thank you very much. Hello. Ah, yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So, thank you for introduction. I'm Claudia Wünsch from Claudia Wünsch Communication. I'm the founder and owner of the agency. Yeah, we have been actively involved in digital storytelling or social media and PR for one, for one decade more, more than one decade now. And yeah, at the end, I think we are one of the pioneers in digital storytelling. And over these years, I got to know Ivan, another pioneer. He is face hunting. He is a yeah, well-known blog, and he's one of the fathers of digital street style. We did a lot of collaborations together, campaigns, international storytelling campaigns, yes. And now he's here with his own agency, A Little Nation, together with Niels. Niels is coming from the production side. He's from filmmaking, TV making. And so when I heard that uh, Ivan is launching his own agency and the Snapchat only agency, I thought, okay, that's perfect because I was thinking about to integrate Snapchat in uh, several digital projects. And I said, so it's uh, natural to collaborate together. And yeah, so that was the point when we started together. So make, coming to Snapchat, um, I didn't saw who in the audience did already downloaded Snapchat and using it. Yeah, it's not so many. Some's missing, <laughs> for the people who are missing. <laughs> um, Snapchat is a mobile-only application and has hooked a very strategic and young audience, and it's getting more and more popular. And very unique is that the content in Snapchat is... Um, oh, sorry, I didn't... You can, you can see it here as well. Okay. <laughs> and... Um, the content on Snapchat disappears within 24 hours. That makes it incredibly desirable. And that brings FOMO, the fear of missing out to re new heights at the end. So, but before now, uh, passing on to Ivan and Niels, some surprises. In the last year, the MTV Video uh, Music Awards have been seen by 5 million people on TV, but 25 million people on the Snapchat account of MTV. Another surprising is that uh, Snapchat has more users than Instagram daily users. Yeah. And another thing is that... Um, People, clients coming to me and say, but yeah, Snapchat is only for kids. It's something yet really, not really interesting. It's not our target. <laughs> and at the end, when you go to and see the statistic, it's not like that. The majority of users of Snapchat are between 18 and 34. So yeah, with these facts, I want to pass on to Ivan and Niels. And they will give you a deeper look into the world of Snapchat. Then we Take that one. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, to talk about Snapchat, I think it's important to realize that it's actually not just another social media because people are like, oh, what's going to be the new social media this year after Instagram? I think it's literally a cultural revolution. People, young people started to chat with words and then emojis. And what's happening with Snapchat is people are using images to chat instead of writing a word. They just take a picture of what they're doing. I mean, Instagram was kind of like that, but you can, people don't post 20 pictures on Instagram a day usually, so it's not as much chatting, it's more like a few statements a day. And um, what is very new as well, in the world of social media, we were used to uh, social status based on numbers. You show your case, your M of followers, that's your status, you show how many likes you have, and everything is like, um, you built it over the time, and it, that generates so much stress. So many people around the world look at those successful people and they're like, what, what do they have that is better than me? Uh, and they're like, they feel very anxious and jealous. And I mean, it creates a, a, very, a lot of negative um, vibes, actually. And with, with, with Snapchat, what's interesting, it's more like, a, in some way, a Buddhist philosophy because it's, you're just what you are right now. You don't have to think about how you build your image over the years and how many followers you have because there's no followers, there's no likes, visible at least. So people, it creates something much more genuine and easygoing. And I think as well, if you think about Instagram, that used to be the hottest application in the world. 
uh, that was supposed to be instant sharing a photo, and now people spend one day to post produce images to share them, so it's not anymore spontaneous. And I think what people get excited about with Snapchat is that they rediscover the pleasure of being spontaneous on, on social media because it, actually you can, there are some third-party applications that allow you to download and upload stuff, but people don't do it because it's too much effort. So eventually what you see on Snapchat is what's happening. So I think it's, it's kind of refreshing in the social, so it's really a, an application and a service that is completely different than anything else. And as uh, Claudia said, I think what the, one of the DNA point is that it's ephemeral. I mean, it's, it's what creates stress for some people, maybe marketers who are like, oh, but why would I spend money on Snapchat if my content disappears? But it's actually uh, the beauty and the drama of it is like you create this form of fear of missing out um, behavior. And um, yeah, I mean, as well, uh, one of the very unique thing with Snapchat that didn't exist before at all is that people now are making videos vertically. I mean, it used to be because of cinema and uh, television, you would always do like horizontal. And then now it became actually legitimate to make vertical videos. And actually, uh, you will see later, but when it comes to advertising, it's the first time that advertisers are creating vertical commercial just for Snapchat because it's the way people hold their phone usually. It's just more natural. Talking with images, I mentioned it, and uh, what, what is as well ver what, what happening with Snapchat and what Claudia mentioned with Kanye, when Kanye said he would be president at the M, at the BMA. music yeah music video what's um, is that from being just a chat five years ago when I even um, started the application and then it became this social media with the service stories where people could share for 24 hours and now the next big thing that makes Snapchat being a complete um, like massive opportunity is that it's becoming an entertainment destination. So it means that more and more people watch football, watch music, watch big events on Snapchat rather than anywhere else. And that attracts a lot of advertisers. And Snapchat is developing right now a lot of products that brands are going to be more able, more likely to, to buy to be on Snapchat. So it's the new destination online. And it's, as we mentioned with, um, with one of the previous slides, is when it comes to millennial, people uh, uh, below 30 is more or less the only place where you can catch them. I mean, it's between Insta and, and Snapchat. I and mean, Facebook is maybe for their grandparents, but they don't use it anymore. Um, yeah. So when it comes to geography, I would say it's massive, but it's true that it's specifically intense when it comes to Northern America, Europe, Middle East. I think Asia is slowly picking up. Yeah, a bit of India, a bit of Thailand, a bit of Hong Kong. But uh, it's mainly the three regions I mentioned. Yes, and a lot of questions we get is how do you get engagement and how do you get followers on these platforms? Because that is sort of kind of... The, the, the more followers you have, the more investment you can make uh, on the platform. So we have a few actions that we would like to present to you and this is inspirational for you. Uh, so the four different ones is on-channel engagement, influencers where you can work with, uh, native ads, and uh, vertical commercials. So yeah, as we kind of mentioned is that a lot of people are using it, but when it comes to marketing and brands, it's the very early age. Most of the brands started to hear about it and say, oh, maybe we should do Snapchat, but how does it work? It doesn't laugh, da 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 da. So, it's right now, 2016 is the, the moment where the brands are like seeing, okay, my, con my competitor is on Snapchat, I, I need to be on it. So it's this year you're going to see your favorite brand being, being on the app. So the, the first obvious thing you can do as a brand is creating interesting, exciting, relevant content for, uh, for your followers, but on your channel. So that can take di very different forms. Yeah. Uh, one example is uh, Snap Movie, and for those of you who use Snapchat, you know that you can produce a snap, which is a film or an image that you can show for 10 seconds, but then you have to upload it or share it before you can produce the next one. So when you do a Snap Movie, you actually have to shoot, share, shoot, share, which is kind of different from other kinds of uh, movies that you actually make. Taco Bell made a movie uh, a few months back which was very uh, exciting because they also featured the music video, not the music, uh, MTV Music Awards, the red carpet. So they really had to sort of work with the real timeline of life. You couldn't really control everything, which is kind of exciting. So it was a big production, like Hollywood-like, but just shot with an iPhone. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, and then when it comes to um, events, uh, Snapchat is really popular when it comes to event. We did uh, our first production last week for Luisa Via Roma, and that is a, we created a TV show. So we created a concept with uh, with a format with music, graphics, and everything that is actually on the on their Snapchat uh, for three months uh, to start with. So um, it's a very exciting project. Yeah. So I mean, because I think Snapchat, because it's now or never, it's it works at. The, when it comes to people and when it comes to brand, it's when you're doing something special. You might not have content every single day. You might, or you might not have, but it's really important when you have your show, when you have your party, when you have your event of the year to emphasize on it. And then people can get excited to, to see what's happening and they feel like special because they're like, wow, it's happening now. Wow, 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 wow. It actually becomes something like the TV was before the VCR. You can't record anything you have to experience at the moment. And then if you lose it, then you lose it. That's it. Um, when it comes to Snapchat and make people do stuff, and make people interact with your brand, or for example, this uh, example with H&M did in Warsaw, uh, they had a few tickets to a music show or a music festival uh, that they wanted to give out. Um, the festival was very popular and they hid these uh, tickets in stores in Warsaw. And then on Snapchat, they posted hints on where you can find these tickets. So people were running around crazy, finding uh, first the store, and then inside the store, they wanted to find these specific clothings, the pockets, the sh where, wherever it was. So they actually created a, a scenario where people were running to the stores, touching the clothes, just to get something that they wanted. And they felt very special because they were the only ones seeing this, uh, this hint. And then uh, there's another way you can work on Snapchat. Let's say even if you don't have your own channel, or if you have a channel, but besides that, you can hire like another social media, an influencer who's uh, you're gonna capitalize on his following. So there's a very interesting example that Nils is gonna tell you about. Yes, maybe you know about uh, Jerome Jar, very famous Viner. Uh, he was coll collaborating with with uh, L'Oreal, and this is a good example on how you can work with Snapchat, even though you don't have your own channel, your own presence, because he was talking about L'Oreal on his very popular account. Here you can see him inviting um, his mother to the Cannes Festival, for example. So he, but it was literally a surprise where he show up in the office of his mom and say, Mom, I have a little surprise, come. And he take her and then she's living the dream of Cannes and she's uh, going up the, the red carpet, Les Marches. And, um, yeah, and it's like you feel like, wow, it's, it's real. I mean, it's a bit set up, but it's, I mean, the excitement of being on your, on your phone and seeing that is, is great. For, for the people who follow him and like him, finally they can see the mom. So that it has massive engagement. Yeah. 10 million people saw it. And then uh, there's another way to, to have a presence for a brand. It's, it's those kind of graphic and fun um, aesthetic that Snapchat has developed. So there's, for example, Geofilters. And for those of you who, know, who use Snapchat, you in, if, in every city that you visit, you can swipe and then, for example, here, various amounts of, of Berlin filters appear on the screen. And these can then, it's actually a good showcase on how global it can be because uh, in one way you can have filters that is shown over, all over the world. But for example, in, in the US, McDonald's did this for every single uh, McDonald's restaurant. So you were, were you in the restaurant, <coughs> you could use this geo filter. Did you walk out a few blocks away? It disappeared. So it's a very good way to work with, with your local position, but still have a fun way to interact with, with your brand. And it allows you to be really super relevant because people who don't go to McDonald's might never use the, the, the filter, but if they are at McDonald's, they're more likely to use it and think, think it's fun to take a funny pictures with fries and stuff. So it's super targeted. Uh, lenses is also something that is kind of playful. Uh, maybe a few of you have tried it when you can uh, have your selfie mode and then you can have an animation on your face. Uh, they are also very playful even though you can buy them. So here, for example, the, the Peanut movie you can see uh, had one day where, they, where, where, where the whole world could actually use this uh, lens on, on their faces. So it's like a branded lens or you can have a branded geo filter. Yeah. Uh, Discover is something that is kind of popular on, on Snapchat and it's 
kind of long to explain what it's all about, but it's editorial content that is put in in a much more fine-tuned way than the regular uh, Snapchat style. And here's a lot of media houses that is uh, using that. But you can also buy these. So, for example, during the previous uh, James Bond movie, they had one of these discoverers explaining a lot of things about their characters and stuff uh, around the movie. We're almost done. I know that we run over time a little bit. but So yeah, another way as well to be present on Snapchat is actually to have like a commercial on TV, but it's not on TV and it's vertical. So in the middle of live and in the middle of discover, like some editorial section of Snapchat. Yes. So here you can see like regular snaps, the yellow one here, they are made by you guys and covered together in live. But the red one is something that you can buy and, and have your own brand within uh, snaps created f by, by the public, so to speak. So, to start using Snapchat, because I guess I get a lot of you people would like to run out and, and use Snapchat for your brands, you need a few things. Of course, you need a strategy. And this is very important. Uh, and this is something that we provide and can help you with uh, as well. Because what is uh, quite important to understand is that Snapchat cannot be just added as a, another social media. It's not like, oh, you have your photos from your campaign and you share it on Facebook and, and Instagram and on Snapchat, because you cannot... Sh you cannot export or upload your photo of your campaign on Snapchat. You have to create a custom-made uh, concept and strategy. I mean, it has to be plugged in. So it's why you need to have a special understanding of the application. Yes, and of course, some, something interesting for people to follow. And uh, when they already follow you, they need something to make sure that they continue tapping your brand name on, on the application. Uh, production plan. It's very different uh, f from producing for other social media platforms. And so you really need to make sure that you do this in a, in a way that suits all the things that you need to cover from, from uh, your company's point of view. I mean, even so everything is live, you can still pre-produce in the way that you can have a, a storyboard. And for example, the brand can approve everything. And then you are you're shooting live, but according to the plan. So it's not completely random. Even so, it's live. Yeah. And last of all, a cross-platform solution is very important. Yeah, at the end you get most of it, out of it, when you connect all your social media, but not only the social media, also social media of the influencers, PRs, classical media, and so on. Then you get the most of out of it, it means increased followers and visibility on Snapchat. Because again, it's, I think it's cross-media platform, uh, works at its best when each media is bringing something else. So don't try to use Snapchat as Instagram. Use Snapchat for something that Instagram and Facebook are not. And I think when people realize they can see something else and something else and something that complement each other on all social media, it becomes like an exciting social media experience. So I'm just going to Snapchat a little bit before leaving because this was actually our final uh, part. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Thank you, bye bye.